Reapers in the safe lane here against a Razor with a Naga Siren. That's going to be a tough one. Oh, they're going one. bottom lane. Paralyzing Cask and rolling Boulder forward onto General. Huge amounts of damage as he'll go into the tree. Fly did cop a lot back in return. And General can be able to get into the trees and salve up so they do not end by getting the kill. I'm glad you're here for us, Toby. I got you, bro. That helps. We're watching three lanes at the same time. But uh, yeah, that does not work out well for, for OG. That looked like at least they burn as consumable. That's an upside. Like yeah. fly cop damage for it, but it does show you the power and like at least the intention of OG. They don't want to let Navi get comfortable. Kind of sucks that Fly's gonna have to grab Cast though. Um, it's not as good kill wise, but he's picked up two anyway, so it'll be all right now. And he's actually gonna rotate the safe lane. Okay, yep. Lane rotate, four rotate. S4 going to the bot lane, and Fly goes to the top lane. That way they can actually land against Razor. And with Maldic, they can actually threaten and possibly kill him. So he's got to be a little careful now if mm -hmm. he doesn't see Fly coming. Uh, here's the next rotation already. LeBron TPs to the north. Jirax is preparing for a rolling boulder in towards mid. Then he does have the Astral Imprisonment. So rolling boulder out. No tells a little bit too far back. He was with his creep wave and not in the front lines. He doesn't have Spirit Siphon anyway. So it looks like Jirax is more posturing and trying to cancel the salve of Dendi. Who is down to one tango charge now. He'll be okay though, most likely. Fire and regen rune on the bot lane. And uh, the lanes continue as previously through Pete, so still sucks for Brewmaster. He's trying to get away from that, that lane that, that difficult. Oh, the they're lane paralyzing cast Maldic up on top. Beastmaster has already taken heavy damage, and here comes Jirax rolling boulder forward. LeBron's nearby. He's trying to get the revenge kill into fly. It will not happen as Jirax does spill the first blood. And then we'll force LeBron out of the lane. He was just shy of level two, so no kinetic field, no glimpse to help him. So it kind of feels like this is the way that OG has to set tempo. It has to be like a Maledict into a rotation from Jerex. So he can maybe teleport into lanes based on the openings that Fly gets and always be there at the right time. But actually being in the lane and contesting and giving his off lane the typical dual off lane thing, I don't think that's going to happen on OG's side this game. It's going to be hard to, to give S4 a lot on the bright side. This wave is pushed, so he'll be able to get like level 3, maybe level 4, depending on how things go. Yeah, and he can at least get some of the experience, but Navi are really dedicated to keeping this tri lane together. They just moved yeah. it to the north after OG. Like, they couldn't pull on the bottom lane. That's why that aggressive tri lane was never going to work, because the uh, Radiant Observer would block the camp. But now, General moves forward. Axe do some decent damage. They ensnare onto the Witch Doctor, and he is trapped inside the Kinetic Field. He got the Maledict on General, but there was nothing much that Jirax could do. And resolution after copying that early damage issue of being so hi heavily into agility just had nothing more to give. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if they anticipated the Naga Siren rotating there, but they did have a safe lane ward on the pull area, so Fly definitely wants to fight here more if possible. Jerex is going to spot Lil right. and vice versa, so yeah. In this tri lane, I'm not sure if OG is <laughs> super happy. Yeah, kick Lil up the hill. I don't think Fly and Resolution, like Fly and Resolution originally wanted to go in general as he retreated away from the tower, but the opportunity just never looked like it was going to execute. Yeah. And it looks like Lil's going to block the small camp from spawning, so there's no more pull advantage for this tri lane. It's been a while actually since we saw uh, a tri versus tri, but it has eventually happened in this game. Yep. You only still have the lane rotation, so it never feels like a tri versus tri all the time. No tell, having more fun with Dendi. Just kind of an even lane. Uh, 15 and 7 for Death Prophet, 12 and 7 for OD. So he's a little bit low on last hits. Mm -hmm. um, other lanes are going well. Razor's got a lot. Morphling has a lot as well. So I think as a whole, um, I'd be relatively happy if I'm Navi, though. I feel like they've had a little bit more lane matchup advantage. As long as they can prevent OG from snowballing like Maledic kills with Morphling, then I think they're going to be in an okay place because they're going to hit a better timing. Than OG will. Like, they're going to need Blink Dagger for Brewmaster to be really effective, and they're going to need Morphling to have an item or two before he gets scared. You can see Navi trying to bait it out. Like, they keep putting Lil so far forward, looking for that Maldic pop, and they got it. It's over on General. Resolution decides not to wave for forward over the wall, and this means the double Riptide from Lil connects on Fly and Jirax. Jirax being the man to fall. I'm actually really surprised that Morphling didn't go in there. It's, like, re it's like Resolution to say, like, I don't think this will work, guys, because if, if you wave form, General's dead. He would have definitely had that kill, especially with his adaptive strike pickup. I think he does oh, a foul. Maledict up. again. Now Lil, they're waiting for it. Rolling boulder in by Jirax, just controlling him. So the, the negative of him going in was he would have had to use adaptive strike and waveform. And if General actually did have those wand charges, it would have been close. So I think it was only level one Maledict. So I think he decided that he that was, maybe was, was going to get the kill. Level two at the start of the fight. But if he, if he would have had, 
if he would have spent all of his mana and put himself out of position to just maybe kill the Beastmaster, that could end up being so bad. He yep. could die, the whole game could be thrown out of whack. Instead, he just waits for the right moment, they finally get another kill, and he doesn't have to spend mana, so ultimately better for OG. This was actually getting more CS out of this bottom lane than I thought he would. Probably helps having three S4s. Yeah. Uh, it helps the supports left. I mean, he, he's obviously behind in levels, but the creep wave has been in a really good spot, and therefore he can actually play fully aggressive. Oh, he's trouble. to regen. Jirax walled up, paralyzing cast. It doesn't bounce. They try and kick him away. The rolling boulder out. Jirax has enough life. He's got stick charges available too. Fly, however, his stick charges will not be enough to save him. Resolution was in the neighborhood, but could do nothing to prevent the death of his support. Yeah, Orb of Venom making a big difference there. And which Doctor just doesn't have that much armor, so if he does get pressured like that, he's going to go down. So it's not the best situation for OG, but as long as Morphling has a good time, he's going to be happy, and they're going to... Yeah, here comes they're the coming TP. Mid. Exorcism. Oh, you're going to banish up one. Where is this kick? Very Which early. Doctor took... Yeah, he was Invis runed up. That's why he tried to get the jump onto Dendi that way. Was the cooldown ending or something? I, yep. I don't know. I only saw the invis up. There was a teleport was coming from Witch Doctor, but he would like he was it halfway was through his TP. It was way too early. They had to go in like the same time for that door. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe maybe it was his invis duration or something. Either that, they're just trying to pressure it so they could take the tower, because here comes Fly. You are using that nighttime vision, paralyzing cast won't help, because you still have defensive imprisonment. As long as Dendi sees it coming, he'll be okay. But he's not fighting this, so yeah. fortification is the only thing that will slow it down. Top lane, Resolution and Jirax working on general. This time, Resolution can miss with the wave form forward. He's got 17 one charges available. Now it's snared up. LeBron wants to battle him. Jirax acts as fly. They clip on the back of Resolution. But general, he's on the run, and Ooh. Jirax rolling boulders into him. So it'll be a one-for-one -one trade off. The Beast Master for an ES is worth it if you're OG. Meanwhile on bottom, here comes Fly. S4 starts with a clap. He has the Brute Master split. So the Static Link damage is still there, heavily up, but it won't matter when the wow. Brulings do the work and crystallize. The highest net worth hero on the field goes down to the Brute Master and Witch. Yeah, it was really perfectly baited there. Put himself in a bad position, gets perfect Static Storm off, but then the Maledict obviously in the long term still hits for no damage. But power of Witch Doctor, man, just amplifying everyone's damage. I'm sure General's really frustrated that Jarex was able to kill him. That was huge for Jarex, picking up level two now. I think that he's really worried about getting clipped by those axes, but then again, General. The glimpse back made General believe he can keep fighting, and now General dies quick conse consecutive deaths. Every extra level that they get on OG's side is such a big advantage. Nobody wanted to see trash GGs. GG. Um, I mean, extra levels of Boulder Smash increases stun duration, I think, by like 0.5 seconds or something like that. It goes up to one second instead of 0.5. Then he could be in trouble uh, yeah. here. Paralyzing Cast will connect, so with a Maledict. Oh. And, uh, well, Spirit Siphon, he has a defensive imprison, finds time for TP support to come in, and it will be Lil arriving to the front lines with that Maledict already up so high as three it's levels in close. it. Dendi should pop from the last one. Lil needed Song of the Siren to really save his mid then. Yeah, it's a good attempt. And again, Fly, amazing Witch Doctor, am I right? Like, you're just, right. He's making all these kills happen, man. Four total kills so far. Um, he's picking up easy levels from this. Uh, the safe lane for OG is going well now with Morphling picking up levels. He's got enough damage that he can actually deal with the uh, the Beastmaster. They've got a really protected mid happy. lane as well, OG. Like they're ensuring that Notel has a good start and is capable of ganking the mid thanks to the two Observer Wards, one down near the, the Radiant Ancients and the other one up in front of Roshan. So they see both the north and south entrance. They see the this, this rotating supports. So I guess Lil walks over it right now. Like he's bouncing down to the bottom lane, then he moves back, and it even sees the smoke of Na'Vi. I mean, the, the as long as they're paying attention. I guess they might wrap mid, but maybe they're also looking at S4. The problem is that S4 just finished his nine minute blink dagger in the off lane, so this is gonna be S4 grabbing yeah. a TP, instantly teleporting into lane, setting up another kill. Flies, flies there with smoke. In fact, Fly is standing. Uh, he's now visible to that himself award. Okay, that could be a really good timing. That maybe oh Navi wait, can take they gonna, this vision. They're actually going to smoke underneath that fresh observer ward. Yeah, they are. Okay, so they just have to predict where this is going to go. I'm going to guess it's going it's towards mid. mid, yeah, against Dendi. But LeBron is not. He's moving really wide. Maybe he'll plan to TP, but maybe they'll just sit Dendi back. I guess. One thing they probably wouldn't have seen because it would have been so quick is the blink dagger on the brewmaster. So they'll know a smoke gank is coming, but they won't be expecting the jump. I think it's possible, considering the fact that he killed the Razor and he left the lane at a point when the creep wave was like right by his tower. I don't think it'd be that bizarre to, to Put assume. Put one and one together, make two. Yeah. 
mean, he all he had was brown boots, quelling, stout shield. Like, if he doesn't buy any transition items, the only reason he'd do that is because he's doing so well that he can get get into a uh, a blink really fast. All right, they got the aggressive observer ward down. You know, spirit siphon ulti from No Tail was an illusion of Naga. Yeah, only, just, but just it's to enough to ensure the tier one tower drops with a catapult wave. Yeah, like a skill build as well. I think uh, maxing Crypt Swarm is a little bit underrated. Um, big miss there on the tower kill for for No Tail, but. With Crypt Swarm, it helps your Maledict become much better. Spirit Siphon doesn't work that great against OD anyways. It's just gonna all work out nicely for him. Can they catch General though? Yeah, the kick will go with the waveform forward. Resolution says oh. in front, s Bolt makes his way into. If they wanna fight this one, s Bolt will be happy to oblige. He actually has the Broodmaster split and they got all five heroes. It's the end of the exorcism of No-Tail. Rezo turned into Beastmaster, but he ran out of mana there, so he wasn't able to do the Wild Axes and he would have had to use his, uh, his wand charges for that to work out. That's fine, he held pretty the inner beast aura for everybody else. It's pretty much a worthless uh, morphing so that's okay. Well, they go bottom lane, rolling boulder in, they got the room master split and crystallize, just like before. Yep. Except this time an extra support from OG was brought in, crystallize goes down all alone with no one from Na'Vi to help him. Yeah, that's that's the worst feeling when you're playing a hero like, um, like Razor, like Ven uh, Viper. You win lanes, but if people just aren't there, then it doesn't matter. And once in a while when they do gank you, you just get super behind. This has got to be really crappy for Razor to feel there. Yep. Just pressured, feels like nothing's happening. He's not part of ganks. His opponents are on him. And uh, everybody else just seems to be farming well in OG. They're in a good place right now. Yeah. Even Witch Doctor has his level 6. Like, I'm waiting for, for Lil to reach his. That's why they're giving him the bottom. Silence is on to no tell. They need to keep this going. Jirax rolling boulders up. But Denny turns around to actually put in the imprisonment. But it won't matter when Flyer's got the death ward. Very simple kill. Now the 30 seconds of the core from Na'Vi has to be on the sideline. Yep, and this is what keeps happening. OG looks and finds a hero and kills them. And it definitely helps to have Earth Spirit. I think one of the biggest benefits from so far this game Yes, the hero is weaker on paper than somebody like Naga Siren in terms of trading, but he's able to get to these kills so fast with Rolling Boulder. Even if he misses it, he's there. He can teleport, he can Rolling Boulder full distance, and he's actually able to participate, but Naga has to walk there, has to plan ahead. It's easier for Jerex to actually rotate and react to some of these fights. Well, Jerex is reacting perfectly thanks to this observer. What aggressive vision they've got. He knows he has to silence to disrupt the rules. Glimpse back will end up killing him. Very sick. And LeBron cannot reach the range. He does have three points up in Glimpse, but yeah. that won't reach even yeah. that far. Normally you have to Glimpse like as he's on his way out, unless you have level four. So perfect play there by Jarex to silence him and then roll. Yep. Now the smoke up from Na'Vi, so they fail the gank. But thanks to the three Observer Wards, which are currently down from OG, they see pretty much everything around the mid lane. They understand that the Na'Vi supports are gone. It may not help them, however, because S4, incapable okay. of blinking in They're time. Gone. He can start his TP, but it'll be completely pointless. Even the roar from General. Wow. They uh -huh. really wanted that kill. Uh, At the same time, they're going on Demi, though. Big silence here. Yep. He could defensively imprison. Fly is waiting. If they have to fight, they can. Like, he's got Death Ward available, but no one from Na'Vi is coming. They're just pushing the bottom tier one tower instead. Yeah. I don't th I don't even think S4 is going to be upset about dying there. Is there a spurt an exorcism and, and hit to tier two? Um, I, I don't I don't think I would do tier two. Tier twos are really dangerous to push with these small advantages. It's like you want to win a team fight before you push a tier two. This well, they could fight bottom. Flies already TP'd it early. Here comes your secondary one in from Brewmaster. Split is available because he died so quickly. Oh, cool. So aggressive TPs are difficult because you're up against a disruptor. So he'll just glimpse you back if you TP's a tier one tower, but they're gonna give it a shot anyway. Brewmaster split is out, and Lil puts everybody to sleep. They're so grouped up, OG. They want to retreat back out. The Earth Ruling was slowing up General, so he cannot escape from this. As Jirex rolling boulders forward, he found Crystallize. They won't catch Lil, but then Crystallize keeps the run going. The Kinetic Field creates some space. Disruptor's Glimpse saving the Razor. But that is not what Na'Vi wanted to achieve by this bottom yeah. lane pressure. I mean, that's way better than it was about to go. They canceled Death Ward there with that song. They canceled Broom or Beastmaster dying instantly and another person being followed up on. Like, that was not bad considering the circumstances. But either way, OG's at this this point where they're just going to snowball their opponents. I, I love No Tail's build. I feel like I wish more mid heroes would buy Veil. They always buy two Nulls and they're like, nah, can't afford the extra 1300. Not worth the money. But it's going to amplify all of his damage, especially against these semi tanky heroes like OD and Razor. Mm -hmm. His team does magic damage anyways. They're probably going to grab an E Blade eventually and Morphling. It just makes sense. Increases his maledict damage. It's beautiful. 
that seems to make all the, t all the right all the right decisions to help them fight early on. And then no tell sacrifices himself, right? Like you don't have to kill the Yule Scepter. You Not don't need the game. movement speed. You don't need any of that. What you just need is to enable your team, enable resolution. Yep. And, and Rez has finished up the Lincoln Sphere. And he's going to go on for BTs next. So he'll be a lot of side lane pressure. Make it a lot easier to join the fights when they begin. Yep. Super normal Morphling build. And it's a tier one for a tier two trade-off, which is happening now. Aggressive observer ward from Jirax so already Very preparing inside the base before Navi will be back. Yeah, that one's sick because if you wait till the tier two's dead and you put the ward, they're always gonna predict it. But if you place it now, they they may not anticipate it. It's gonna spot everything here. Well he's pinging out to go for Lil. There's no song of the siren, so OG are very happy to jump into the fights. There's nothing that really stops them. Notel's got uh, a third of the duration left, actually even less than that, for the exorcism. But it's enough where they can ship to tier 3 and cause some pressure. That allows the opening up on top. Rolling boulder in by Jirax. He'll get the double kickoff now. The Glimpse will pull him back a little bit further, but General trying to battle inside the sword. They need one more stun on the Disruptor! Haha, <laughs> if you had Yule Scrub. <laughs> Nah, he went he went to wow. main with the afford it at that point. <laughs> um <laughs> He took like a fourteen hundred gold deeper. Okay, maybe he would have had it. Who knows? But that that's one of those moments where Yules is really good. Uh so secure TP TP kills is he, one of the best reasons. He's got a lot of stuff. Like even the like adaptive, like get anything out there. Jirax yeah. had to commit for his double stun at the beginning. It was just a smart time to TP out. Maybe not so smart for Denny to stick around. Rolling Boulder in. They get the silence onto Dendi. S4 with the club. Kinetic Field trying to hold him in position. But the kick and silence catches both Dendi and LeBron. Crystallized wants to get this fight fly. Sits in the tree lines. Dendi comes back out of the Empress, but back into the Death Ward Death Range. And this Broom Master has just removed Razor from the fight with the Storm Ruling. The kickback trying to keep the distance up. Two Palace and Khan's going to bounce bad. into the freaking Ogres. But this is a good fight for Na'Vi. Getting a couple of kills now. Have an isolated no-tell in the Death Treed. Four heroes around him and a triple okay. kill for Crystallize. He was out of the fight for a while, but he comes in at the end to clean up. He just got all this damage and then eventually they just out DPS them. Like it was, if Morphling wasn't there, Brewmaster was using his ultimate to basically buy time, and if Wish Doctor ulti has been used already, if Maledict has been used already, like, everything was used to kill uh, OD, essentially, and OG just had to back a little bit earlier without having Morphling there, and yep. no Exorcism, so just a little bit overconfidence from their from their uh, advantage this game. So and we need just hammer. a little bit more damage to get that early kill, that's all. Or they, they got the kill, they just needed to leave because mm -hmm. eventually the Razor was able to outdamage everybody and they just got a little bit overkited by his superior mobility. So, small, I, I would say small mistake that led to a moderate mistake in the game. And I'm sure that... Uh, the coming to kill resolution. I'm sure that he OG's He doesn't have vision on the hill. Scared. Lil just starts the Song of the Siren. Morphling wants to jump out of here now. At least there's no stuns, but you've got the storm. The Lincolns will break, and that is one very yeah. dead Morphling. Huge kill there. That's G actually so worth it. GX was nearby to try and help out, but it was just too far away. And you know what's kind of crazy is I feel like that gank wouldn't have even happened if the OG players hadn't died in the mid lane. Because if they just don't die there, they back off a little bit, they retain map control of the enemy jungle, and said it's just resolution solo pushing bottom. So that previous fight has now led to this place where Navi felt semi-comfortable going bottom. They knew there probably wouldn't be that many heroes because two heroes had just respawned. It's like they, they just lost a lot of tempo by losing those two heroes. And my, my thought was like, this is just slightly reminding me of the game where OG got really far ahead and ended up losing it um, at the previous major. So yeah. I'm sure they're getting feeling a little bit worried right now. Yeah, might be the reason too why No Town was sitting inside the Roshan pit. So Fly is already trying to prepare up a little bit of vision. The boars are down at the moment. Yeah. He's, he's got an observer and two sentries available, but it's it's really difficult against Beastmaster. Like that hawk is at 46 HP, and Hotel knows the damn thing is there, but he can't do anything about it. But this is their catch up. This is the way like they they change the tempo, right? Like if Navi's got the momentum, they've got the laning presence. You buy more space, you enable the Morphling to actually jump into the fights, and he's going to want to. Like he's he's on yeah. the way to E Blade. I would say it's okay to slow this down just because. OG's done such a good job at the beginning of the game, and the heroes that they shut down, especially OG, that is not a hero that catches up super well. Um, I I he's better if he's closer in farm, but look at his net worth. He's got barely more than a Beastmaster does. That's how many times he's been successfully yeah. ganked mid. Nah, because like, Lil's almost got as much as he does. Yeah. Lil's already finished up. Now, Halo, uh, Media Hammer, as well as Arcane Boots with a wand. Yes, he's got some time to go before Naga's useful again, 50 whole seconds to be precise. I guess he could do a net into Meteor Hammer, but... 
Um, I think it's okay for OG to slow this down just a little bit, play a little safe, play as they're even right now, and they just need to have a good fight or a gank and turn that into a Roche. Just let the Morphling continue to get further ahead. Dotel still yeah. waiting inside the pit. Like, Resolution needs to keep this middle lane pressured out. If he doesn't, then the Roshan's too obvious, and the Beastmaster will just send a Hawk. I think he was also maybe waiting to break a smoke here. A lot of Navi here was missing. I thought, I think maybe he, like if you look at the wards right now, the only ward that they have is the one in the uh, Radiant base, I believe, the only OG ward. So they OG. basically, they They're don't know where they are. Lil fly. No, he doesn't have the vision. Oh, okay, that kills illusions. <laughs> That's a lot of gold, watch out. Not as much as homing missile though. Um, so uh, I think uh, OG just doesn't want to take this, like get caught in this they bad fight they that leads to a Roche. That's Chris it. Chris Light just got his BKB. Like this raise is going to be so strong coming into the fight, and you still don't have that pop damage from from resolution. He went for the That's e true. blade, uh, he, he went for the ghost edge before he finished up uh, the agility buff. Yeah, it is a little scary now. Well, basically, any fight that they try to start where they kill razor at the beginning, it's not going to work. Song will come out, and uh, razor's going to be able to re reorganize uh, his position and actually lead into something. They're not far away from e blade, very soon. Oh, song of the siren! They got him just as he waveformed. So the storm is down, the song turns off, and support Jirak rolls in. Oh, Morphling, he's surviving through this. They didn't do enough damage, and he'll waveform down. Now Exorcism and Death Ward will do the work. Lil one's out of this one, but he's already taken way too much damage. The Maledict will pop him if the kick didn't get him first. The rest of Na'Vi managed to bail out pretty damn quick from this. Really good survive there. Um. I, I, they didn't channel Meteor Hammer, I saw that. Maybe that's because LeBron popped his ultimate really early, but I think they just, they knew they had to kill Morphling as fast as possible because that's right next to a shrine. No matter what happens, OG is gonna, sur is, is gonna show up and it was a good catch, but they needed a little bit more damage. Meteor Hammer hits there, that guy's dead 100%. So maybe just needed to commit to it instead of uh, being a little bit worried. And because you burned Song of the Siren, now OG feel confident enough to go into towards Roshan. 100%. It was the end of the Exorcism, which gave him a little bit of extra physical damage at the beginning, but now Resolution will have to do the rest of the work. And quite easily, he can do that. Flies nearby, he's got no points in regeneration. Supports on the way into Naga Illusions, but by the time they get inside the pit, it'll all be over. Roshan, it goes the way of OG. Resolution demand to hold the Aegis the Immortal. OG is going to feel really good now that they have Aegis. They, not only do they just have the Aegis, even if they don't want to necessarily force a fight with it, they just know that their opponents can't take it as a as a prize to guarantee two team fight wins potentially. Because it's really hard for OG to win these team fights, and it'd be even harder with Aegis on top of that. So now I think OG is just happy. BKB is up on Death Prophet. Yep. No Tail will continue ferrying out clarity potions for the rest of his life, and uh, they're going to be able to get more map I think General's looking for a courier snipe round the back. He has to roar to get it, and then Bors and everyone else working. And they're TPing in. Wow, this could be quick. Very close. It's going to take too long for Jirax, but they do find one other target. LeBron, Fly commits the death ward, and that's a three killing spree, actually, yeah. ended off LeBron's. 310 gold for Fly. Definitely a great courier snipe, though, because basically Navi knows that they're not going to be fighting anytime soon because of the Aegis, so... Sees the curry, goes for it. Nice snake. So Here's some extra cash. Necrobook level 2 completed on general. Didn't go all bling tag, so there's no jump in initiation. So let's watch this uh, fight once more. So the song is up, but the TP to coming oh. in thick and fast. He also used his Ghost Scepter right away as soon as it ended. So the, oh, the Meteor Hammer does actually hit at the end, excuse me. Um, it's mostly the fact that he actually just wasn't taking any physical damage at the start of the fight, was what it was. It would have helped for the Meteor Hammer to be upfront damage as well, and except for afterwards, because at that point he was able to morph. So it's kind of like a combination of those two things. Ghost Scepter and then no Meteor Hammer. Goodbye, Bill. Maybe. It yes. was really nice knowing you. Silence up. Silence up. Okay, there's three just, just lack of the silences on top. That's such a long duration control as well. Like, yeah. that's like if from the max silence, it can be six seconds. Right now it's at five. And, and then you add the ES yeah. into it. That ability is so good. Silence. The, the ability silence, not the <laughs> not the status of okay. J j just in general, it's, it's great to silence heroes. That was cool. That's like a I planted a ward here trick. Watch the sentry; it'll come. Maybe it's maybe too obvious. This this, this is when they got to put the observer ward on the bottom side. Maybe too heavy. Yeah, no, no, here comes the sentry. Sentry's coming out to to crystallize. He's like, okay, I got this, boys. Ready? That is how Ready? you beat a carry. Oh, there's nothing there. Mind Your net games. worth is wrecked, crystallized. <laughs> 100 left. Maybe he didn't buy it's it. Like, it's like, where is it? Where is this? I, uh, just where? Wait, are they? Oh, 200 gold. Oh, <laughs> another sentry. 
It's like he did it somewhere around here, right? Dude, and the best part, that's like him just like wasting some time because he didn't have anything else to do. So he's like, yeah, maybe we'll get some wards out of this. And not only that, but like Razor was sitting there like, let me bring this sentry out. Let me put this sentry <laughs> down. He could have done something. Space created, dude. Uh, creative ways. Well, they know where not, to f where not to put an observer ward down. Oh, LeBron, there's, there's your third sentry going down, and it's too far out of range oh of the observer and Jeez. sentry. <laughs> Three swings and a miss. Does this, this, this mean you're out? Like <laughs> He's got no items. Yeah, I think he is. Well, sorry, you, d you just struck out, Navi. Resolution's pushing in the bottom lane quite nicely. His E-Blade is fully completed. Still got the Aegis yeah. Immortal, so he'll be very happy to pressure the bottom because Navi's not there. He just did the, uh, do I, is it worth waveform or morphing any of my allies this game? It might be. <laughs> I think Witch Doctor would be a pretty good guy to turn into for each of Here's them. Exorcism. They burnt the fortification already. Here comes Georax rolling in once more. Are you going to drop another sentry ward for this? As Resolution waits it out. The Ensnare is on no tail, but he's in the back lines. Very, very safe. They can't reach Fly. They can't reach S4. And Resolution's waiting for the right time. Pops Ooh. into Dendi. So much damage. And the double silence is on to Lil. This will buy enough time for the tier 3 tower to fall. OG, how hard do you want to push this? Maybe not that much harder. Exism is running out. Might be a good time to retreat. The glimpse and wall has been used. I mean, and here comes Jirax. Yeah, it's safety. Kick no tell away to safety. Go for the shrines. Really good move there. Three, Unless four, seven. Navi wants to chase, yeah, which they, they won't. They just have to move together. And luckily, they've controlled that part of the map long enough that there's no observer ward, so no glimpse back, and they get the tier three, which guarantees shrines, which guarantees even more map control. So, um,. I believe Aegis is probably about gone by now, if I'm not mistaken, so... Uh, yep. 40 seconds. Yeah, that's probably true. 40 seconds and it's gone. But no exorcism, and with Aegis almost being gone, this is the right thing for OG to do. Mm -hmm. uh, regain map control, maybe they take another Roche, then go bot racks. Maybe they split push some tier 2s first. But either way, they're, when they get a chance, definitely take shrines would be their, their main goal. Yeah, tier 2 uh, on top, and then th that shrine as well would be perfect. But wait for exorcism. That's another minute. I, I like. I think this is one of the best things about Morphling. Actually, is he's like he's like anti team fight in some ways. In that, if you're not careful, he's just gonna one shot you. Yeah. And when that happens, it's like, well, we don't need to win the team fight now because we're five v four. Like we're gonna win the team fight. Yeah, you so saw that, how you so saw how much scary. damage he did he did to Dendi. Like imagine if yeah. he actually caught like a week here. Like disruption yeah. just gets deleted. Hello, the paralyzing cast. Everyone hold hands. Like Od just has a lot of magic resistance just because he's really smart. Oh. The glimpse. So if he nukes somebody else, it's going to be even scarier. Which Doctor was actually the sentry ward. Well, that's why his Glimmer Cape didn't protect him. But the silence is up, but the damage is too high from Crystallize. Or maybe not. Paralyzing cast back in. It goes into the Ancients this time. And up to General. Navi's itching for a fight. Yeah. I thought they were going to get that one for sure, but everybody in OG sits back. They defend him. They don't want to fight yet. Like, Resolution's got BT. He's ready to go, but he wants that BKB coming on the Courier. I mean, it's <laughs> look at his farm level now. He's so much farther ahead than anybody on Navi. So he's almost eighteen thousand net worth and thirteen thousand of of Razor. Yeah, he's just on the trajectory where he's got BKB now. So basically, any team fight, he's going to be fine, unless he gets roared without seeing it coming. And then afterwards, he just continues to buy items that are going to help him kill. Probably Scotty is pretty much always a mandatory thing against BKB heroes. You saw how good it was last game against OD. Same thing against Razor. Just perma slow him. Followed up with whatever the heck you want. I mean, I mean, Rezo can basically do anything he wants now for the rest of the game, is what it feels like. It's like Lil's going BKB, trying to break free of this silence curse so he can actually get his yeah. ulti off. He actually needs to. There's too many ways that he can just be threatened. Same with E-Blade combo. If he gets maledicted and ultied, he has a song. Mm -hmm. Those are circumstances he doesn't want to have to be forced down to. g was in the neighborhood on the top lane for a very long time, but there was no one else to for him to combo with. But you knew this was inevitable. Like, OG was just preparing this top lane. They don't have the vision up. That's thanks to Na'Vi having this observer and sentry just on the backwards hill to the east of the tier two. And that's a really cool thing about OG's draft with their two supports is that oh both of them No, you're walking kills. into a sentry ward. You got caught here before. He puts out his own observer, at least gets the vision, but S4, the jumping. Crystallize got his BKB off well before that. The Beastmaster won't be so lucky. Getting kicked up. Crystallize now losing that static link because he was on the storm ruling. That won't oh, help, be but on to no tail. That'll work. No, you also have to protect him and take him out of harm's way. So Crystallize will pick up the double kill. Here comes Resolution, waveforming him, but the BKB protecting Dendi. g looking for another quick kill. There's only the disruptor, but G-Rex, so much damage, he'll get the magnetize off. So Navi will have issues with that, but Resolution just has no more friends to damage with. Ooh. Oh, they banished him! It was a last 
point of a second before that TP was going to complete for resolution. He can e blade pop somebody, but Lil just looking to dodge it with mirror image. No way to really get the hit, and OG lose four. Not the best way to start a fight. Walking uphill, going for the D ward. That's such a dangerous place, actually, for OG to D ward, because it's right between both tier two towers. There's a high chance that Navi controls that area. And walking up like that, losing Witch Doctor right at the start of the fight, force him into this weird situation where no Tail is forced to like gap close and eventually say like, all right, half his BKB is gone. I'm going to commit to this. And all of a sudden he's like, oh, Razor has stolen damage this whole time. And I'm actually vulnerable here. And I actually can't live through three heroes. One of the negatives of his build, he couldn't buy himself a second and a half or two seconds with Yule. So, so let's let's see it again. Fly comes up. There's the initiation, soaks up the raw. And then that, like they at least keep the Naga under wraps. And, the, and they kept General a little bit on the Beastmaster, but he was already done. No tell just seems so isolated from the rest of his team. The yep. Song of the Siren Resolution was asleep that entire fight. Yep. As soon as he pops BKB, the song comes out. Yep. And here was just like Resolution trying to get a kill before he dies. Maybe he should have morphed. I could definitely say that's fair. Even if you turn into like Beastmaster for a second, throw axes, turn out again. But this timing, yeah. watch it. It was so zero close. point zero. It was actually I zero point zero. Dendy definitely cheated. That was <laughs> obvious. I'm sorry. That I says zero. It, it did say zero. Really close. Good, good vanish there. But it's, it says zero when it's between uh, like the actual zero and, and point one. I mean, this is another another moment here where it feels like they OG should not be in this situation. They had this overwhelming advantage, and now they have to work it up a little bit again, and then go for it. Like, look at the look at the graph. It's like we're winning, we're winning. Oh, whoops. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, win it. Oh, whoops, we messed up again. This one was more severe. That was a lot of kills. You make it sound like hey, I just walked into a bathtub. Well, I slipped. Maybe I should get the grip back. I mean, no, that, no, no, that's no, no, what no. it feels Flip, like. Flipped again. They okay, are, I'll get they the grip are back. outclassing Navi in most plays, but they're just having these small moments where they make a, a little bit over, maybe a little bit. Uh, over expect themselves to win the fight maybe it's some of their itemization things but it just seems like uh when resolution isn't the one starting the fight this doesn't work like resolution needs to have that quick pop like on bottom lane he smacks dendy down to like 15 20 percent of his hp this is the way they wanted to begin and this worked but when fly just walked forward like that and he's not playing in the back lines there's no interference when navi initiates they also had ages there though so it was partially and uh, navi's inaction was it was at least somewhat based on that okay there's observer and sentry down they're looking for an opportunity they lil so. there's your quick silence jirak just wants to go for it even silence the disruptor at the Misses same time ultimate. and then rolling boulder away yeah, his ultimate has a very short range actually you need to be standing right next to somebody he missed it was oh. hoping to knock them back but found everybody was there they have to get rid of that sentry. It'll reveal the fact that Fly is there, but it, it needed to happen. Yeah. They it actually knew. I mean like, there's there's dire observer wards everywhere around this top part. At least the tier 2 is dead mid now, so it's a little bit easier for them to control there. Oh, no, Hawkey yeah. died. They still haven't killed shrines, by the way. And that's actually a huge mistake from OG. Unless that's just a map bug, but... Like, they they keep fighting around this one point, no. and there's three teleport points for their opponents, all surrounding that one point that they're fighting around. They damaged the bottom shrine. It was funny, because they backed out of the bottom lane, like, after they took the tier 3 tower, they started doing damage to it, and then they all walked off. Yeah. <laughs> like, they were saying, okay, we know, we're, it, we're not going to stick around for this. It's really scary to commit. The only hero on their team that can actually kill shrines easily is Morphling. It yeah. has to be Morphling. And I'm sure Rez has been busy, busy pushing lanes, trying to farm items, you know? This is still reaching that point, like, I was, I was mentioning it during the drafting phase, where it was my... My issue with the OG draft uh, was actually getting to this point, but they're reaching it, where Resolution is just so damn powerful yep. that he will actually do the physical damage required to get through the Na'Vi lineup after they'd used all of their disengages from Na'Vi. So the only thing that has to happen is Fly, as well as uh, G-Rex, create a lot of a lot of pe uh, pressure, a lot of distraction. Oh, Fly! Oh, he's almost dead! They sentry ward him down! Put down the storm as well. Roshan so low at 1.1k. Oh. General's already got the double kill. They've died. rooted up one, two. The buybacks are coming in from Fly, but you've lost Notel, you've lost S4. Resolution, how strong is your back? Roshan is actually stuck on the wall and getting kicked oh, down. Fly with the dive back. They're waiting for this, but it's all Roshan to Na'Vi. Nothing will stop it. Aegis and Cheese is out. And they are coming to push down the mid. Even an MKB for the Razor to boot. Toby, they bumped into their bathtub again. Oh, God. Oh, not a good way to start a fight. They felt confident going for Roche, but all of a sudden... Oh, Korea sniped the Rx. No. It, uh, no, he's, yeah, he's too busy cutting the wave. Yeah, he wants to cut the wave. To, <laughs> but there's a full creep wave here. They just... The only thing they still have is Brewmaster ulti. They pop BKBs. There was, like, three crucial losses there. Witch Doctor dying right away. Brewmaster did not get his ulti off. 
Death Prophet died like instantly. There's actually like too much physical damage on Navi's side. Mm -hmm. Like No Tail's build was actually the wrong thing this game, I think. The BKB has not actually benefited. He needed like a Shiva's there or something. Maybe. Something to survive. Jirai's trying to create space. Silence doesn't kick. Here comes your TP. Death Prophet to the front lines. In through the back. It's going to be the Broodmaster split. This is OG's chance to potentially turn this fight around. LeBron, he'll come out of the imprisonment. Jirax is almost his job to kill him off because they've separated out. Someone kill LeBron. Okay, the Storm Ruling and Jirax will finally do it. But Resolution trying to combine together with the S4 Ruling. <laughs> and the E Blade Pop won't be enough because you got the help to come back from Chris Lies's Chief. So Resolution, man up. Who is stronger? He's got more time to hit. He's got no, no damage. It's never Negative almost 300 resolution oh, gets help from Jirak! Oh boy! He's like, oh yeah, I can turn back into this guy that has a ton of health. Yeah. He never used static link. What is he doing? Oh. <laughs> Alright, Rezo, Rezo is not ready to play Morphling. I, uh, <laughs> that is like, he, that should have been like the first thing he did was like, I'm gonna link you, then turn back. Because if he, uh, maybe he thought he clicked it or something, because he was fighting him the whole time. That was insane. You should not be taking that fight if you're being static linked. He's gonna out damage you until you get your nuke scan. And he had like three full seconds to go. So the fact that he didn't, he must have thought that he linked him or something. That That's that's the only thing that makes sense to me there. Yeah. He probably canceled his animation, didn't realize like, oh crap, I haven't stolen any damage yet. That's why I'm not killing him. Well, we swing the momentum back the other way. It seems only a minute ago because it was that OG were losing their full mid rack. Steady jumps forward, resolution, a quick wave form away. Doesn't have his BKB up yet. That's 10 seconds till it is up and running. Death Prophet has his, but Exorcism, it's gonna be enough time. They jump in, they kick the E-Blade pop. No! Song of the Siren! Five heroes are caught! Turn on the song! It's an absolute nightmare with the Media Hammer connects as well. OG, no, they actually have to sustain. They're living through this. They turn on the Voodoo Restoration, the magic that you do, and they've even jumped down to the bottom. They want Dendi, Death Ward, and Maledict. LeBron will come to Death Ward. No, he won't. He'll cancel off Fly's attack. And Dendi, a quick blink. He's into the trees, starting his TP out. The last Maledict pop is going to be close, but he's back yeah. to base and regenerating quickly. Bottom lane, resolution. And he'll have to actually get out there. Able to do so. The BKB duration is over. S4 trapped inside the base. Crystallized. Oh, he's dead. It's all executing him down. He's got the Earth Ruling left. It's going to take too long before it gets back into it. So Brewmaster will drop. But they claim the melee racks on bottom of all of the lanes. Man, that, that Meteor Hammer fight, that's what OG has been waiting for all game with their items. All BKBs, Glimmer Cape, Yules on Earth Spirit, that didn't even matter. It looked terrible, but then they're all just like, oh, we all have solutions. There's three BKBs, boom, easy, no problem. Let's, let's see it again. So it looks like a fantastic start from OG. They see not, they see Dendi, he's a great jump in, and then Lil. Everybody looks tired. And they wait. Five man meteor hammer, but oh. two BKB, three BKBs, Yules to disable most of the damage, and Glimmer. They no problem at all. OG's been building for that moment all game, and they're losing fights in different ways that they don't expect. I think they just thought like, man, Song into Disruptor ulti, as long as we beat that, we're fine. But they're just taking these fights, they think they can win, and Navi's beating them, yep. but not that last one. It's inter interesting to see, like, is there any other item you would even go on the Morphling? He's still gonna finish up his build with the Butterfly. And the only reason I say is that because you get the Monkey King bar on the Razor. You I still okay with it? I think so, um, because OD does not want to buy an MKB. Razor can buy it, but he still has to sap damage to be a threat. But OD is not, like, you can buy MKB and OD now, but you'd still much rather have a Scythe of Ice or a Shiva's Guard or something. So, absolutely worth it. Huge damage amp, tons of attack speed, Lots more armor. It's definitely worth it. Oh, Resolution being the man he really wants to be. 224, almost 25,000 in the net worth. This game, though, there's not that much between the two teams. Like, we're, we're sitting in 2K. Even the experience is around 4,000. This game is close. Na'Vi has the mid lane advantage. OG has the bottom. I'm actually wondering still who has a better chance here, because like... Yeah, I'm not sure. Because when you've got the BTs on resolution and that bottom lane continues to push in, it won't take much for him to just jump through the bottom lane yeah. and bounce into mid and get that second lane of rack. So how does Na'Vi control that? Like, how it's does Na'Vi yeah. actually punish resolution if he attempts such a thing? they got Disruptor, they've got Beastmaster, they have some solutions. They've got Song of the Siren, they have a lot of ways to catch him. But there, that is certainly a way that OG could try to exploit this game is split pushing. Even Jerex, for example, I just checked that talent. He's got the 200 rolling boulder, dam boulder damage at 15. He can rolling boulder twice within four seconds and kill an entire creep wave. It's actually really easy for a lot of OG heroes to split push right now. So 
that's definitely a place where, where OG's got a nice advantage, especially because there's so many uncovered barracks, even though they've been racks themselves. Lil's very close to his next big item. So Song of the Siren was fantastic Ooh. for him last time. He's going Aghanim Scepter, and he's 80 gold shy of it. His Close. illusions up on top were actually getting him a large amount of that cash resolution. Yep, there goes your Lincolns. Tried to they tried to. Oh, actually, did. yeah, they did. They got the glimpse off resolution, not BKB to protect. He's waiting it out. Here comes your kick. The E Blade pop goes into OD. And he's very happy to fight. Navi, that's a good high ground observer ward. Huh. Let's them actually see OG and what they're trying to fight. Very safe on their uh, on their BKBs there. I've seen a lot more patience out of that lately from Pro Team, so I'm not sure necessarily what the shift was mentality wise but they are saving those things if they don't need to use them whereas in the past people would be like i don't want to die that's more important than <laughs> losing my bkb now they save both maybe because more people are willing to use buybacks is probably why bkb is in some ways more important than uh dying once or dying once and buying so interesting so far uh but good map control for og i feel like they have the upper hand here just because it's easier for them to get kills between e-blade stuff morphling is quite probably i think it's safe to say morphling is top five maybe top three late game carries in mm -hmm. the entire game um just because of his variety of uh, what he can accomplish in terms of physical damage magic nukes he just killed an entire creep wave with a uh, one adaptive strike so you want the plus two adaptive perk it's an interesting choice i haven't seen that often uh plus two multi-shot adaptive That's it's either that or two wave from Curtis. and now he just one shots entire nuke wave while also doing potentially like 400 magic damage weighs way more than that. Oh god, it's so much damage. He does like a thousand magic damage with adaptive strike right now. That's actually so insane. Nice here. Yeah, does here a thousand Navi. damage. We'll see if they can find it, such a beast. The illusions are scouting out a lot of positioning here of OG. Flight actually just uses paralyzing cast too. But Navi, they throw the wild axes from inside the trees. <laughs> no, 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 no. You too much damage here already. It's a double damage rune into resolution. They oh want to fight now, OG. <laughs> There's the jump in. S4 goes into the Brew Master split. Looking for the stun crystallized very quickly away. Protected by the Glimmer Cape. There's the Storm Brewing moving quickly and fast. What's he going to find? He finds Dendi. He finds a lot of things, but they're not going on anything because they're all looking in towards the mid lane. Resolution fighting the backdoor regeneration with oh, that double damage TP. rune. And now they roll back out again. You cancel the TP, but S4 does his own TP out. The Glimpse will stop him. He will not survive. Resolution cannot get over in time. Crystallizes nearby. Resolution. Lincolns for Lincolns. They can wave full forward. Wow. LeBron just gets evaporated. But no tell. Has to BKB. Breaks free. Goes after Dendi. Lil turns on the Song of the Siren. They want to get that extra regeneration in as well. Crystallize continues to run away from the exorcism of the Death Prophet. Well, they clear the creeps at least. And one for one, not the best for OG. If, if only the creeps were there, they definitely could have taken the racks with the double damage, but they instead went back to what S4 had caught. It looks so good. S4 bought time. They were able to hit barracks, but then there's no creeps there. So they had to go back and commit to the fight, but S4 died for it. Not the best circumstances. They can look towards Roshan. So Song of the Siren is down for 50 seconds. Roshan will respawn in 30 seconds, so they'll have but a 15-second a window. But they also have no exorcism, so mm -hmm. I, I, that's kind of just a disengage is what it feels like it's, here for It's going to be all on the Morphling, but Morphling, uh, he's buying out for this. Like, he, like the buybacks True. are not available for, for the Morph right now. He just one-shot on Ancient Camp. That was pretty good. Every 10 <laughs> seconds, not bad. <laughs> I mean, he's six have slotted. You, have you found your new build for pups, have you, Kevin? No, I mean, I, I fiended Morphling a lot right when he got changed in the previous. I was I was ahead of the meta for once. Thank you. Oh, I, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Um, but it's, it's okay. More, he's, more credit where it's he's, he's got great items. Um, he's basically just, what, 49 armor. It's okay. Pretty good amount of armor. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Hey, you can have a little bit more once the Assault Curios gets completed on the Brewmaster. That's true. That's what he's going in for next. It'll be a while. Uh, I, they just need to find good team fight starts. They tried really hard to start that fight because of the DD. That's why S4 forced it so hard, but unfortunately the blink comes out. They still try to force it. Still doesn't work. It was a hard position to be in for them. But either way, I still feel like they're farming well. Uh, those two items are really scary, though. No um, fire and scythe. Yeah, scythe on Beastmaster looks amazing. That's a roar into Hex, potentially, if they find somebody. That's a fun so item on Jirax, too. You've actually got yourself a Heaven's Halberd. 
This can become more important considering how early those BKBs will arrive. So, like, Crystallize is down to a five second BKB, and Dendy's got a seven second. They jump in, Resolution roared up. They're gonna keep pushing him away. Glimmer K protection too, as the BKBs are there. Song of the Siren. Lil jumps in deep. They wanna isolate No Tell, but now they have to turn off the song because they're isolating themselves. The storm is down for the damage from Resolution. It's so big. Crystallize can't survive this. Resolution, he just stands all ground, killing off almost all of Na'Vi. He can't get the triple kill because Fly took out Dendi. But they're going in deep. No buybacks available. And this is going to be serious damage to the base of Na'Vi. Oh. Unless Jurek gets himself killed, he enticed General enough to stick around. And there it is. GG is called Man. as OG. It's been going back and forth. The tussle, but finally Resolution is able to stand his ground in the fight, and Na'Vi don't get the advantage. That was an uphill battle for OG.